good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining us with the Lessons of Vietnam show that uh, broadcast from Nissan Communications. Uh, I'm your host, Bill Dixon, and we're going to go right into the first slide, Amazon, so we can talk about uh, how they can get in touch with us and talk to us. There we go. Uh, we are, our mission is to tell them the uh, story of the Vietnam War and the men and women who were involved with it and, and have the truth. There's so many uh, myths and half-truths out there, and a lot of the historians uh, have a lot of mistruth out there. Uh, I, again, is your host, Bill Dixon, Vietnam, uh, vet, Vietnam veteran 67-68. We're broadcast uh, from courtesy of Nissan Communications. Uh, if you want to make a comment or whatever to me, my contact information is uh, Bill Dixon at DixonBill80 uh, at yahoo.com. Uh, send me your uh, comments about the show, suggestions, if you want to be on the show, uh, whatever you want. It's great. Just send it to me. Uh, to participate during the show, we ask you to give us a call on, by phone at 919 518 9773, or even better, using Skype is to Computers 2K Voice. And you can be part of the show, make your comments, or, or tell me that uh, you disagree with that point, and I'll see what I can do to uh, find out the, the answer that's different. Uh, if you are a veteran or you know of a veteran who, in this terrible time of being locked up with, with um, with the pandemic and so forth, please have them or you reach out to the Veterans Crisis Line at 1-800-273-8255 and press one. There is someone there waiting just to talk to you if you're a veteran or to the veteran and can get, get them whatever help they need. Be sure to uh, get that word out. Uh, they have support for deaf and hard of hearing people. Uh, so uh, they're there waiting for you. Just touch base with them and there's help there. Uh, we need to get rid of this 22 a day uh, stuff. Uh, tonight's show is, um, each time I have, a, I have a struggle to come up with something that keep you interested uh, in our show. And I got to thinking about it. You know, when the war was going on, there were still a lot of things going on. Life was going on in other places. So I decided to put together uh, this uh, a world and United States Vietnam War timeline. This is part one. Uh, it will probably going to be at least four parts. But we're going to be looking at what was going on in the world and the United States uh, during the time that we were uh, somewhere involved in uh, the Vietnam War or getting ready to get into the Vietnam War. And I'm going to surprise some of you, but we're going to start with the beginning, which was 1945. That was the ending of the uh, Second World War, and things were still was going on with America in Vietnam at the time. As you can see, the American flag in the United States and the Vietnamese, that's the South Vietnamese flag in, the, in, in Vietnam. So uh, we're going to be discussing that. And as I said, we're going to be starting off with uh, 1945. No event proved more important to the course of modern American history than World War II. The war put America into the world stage as a mighty economic and military giant. It rescued the country from the Great Depression, created full employment, and for the first time in generations, increased real income for American workers. Moreover, the poorest 40% of the population saw its share of the national income growth, while the top 5% witnessed a decline. Technology excelled and the computer age begins. African Americans and women experienced more dramatic changes than they had in decades. And the contours of post-war diplomacy took shape in response to issues dividing the West, Western allies on the one hand and the Soviet Union on the other. Although the World War II lasted only four years for the United States, its impact endured for generations and we're still being impacted from it. Uh, in America, the war triggered massive social changes. More than 6.5 million women took the jobs for the first time. We've all seen pictures of Rosie the Ritter, Ribbert. 
increasing the female labor force by 57%. Most were married and over 35. Before the war, the average woman worker, okay, for some reason we went back to the second slide. I mean, the first slide instead of the second slide. Come on, can you? Okay, let's see. All right, right there. There's where we're supposed to be. I don't know. We had this problem last time on, on uh, Zoom. African Americans joined the uh, armed forces in record numbers, while 2 million left the South for factory jobs in the North and West. Membership in the NAACP, the largest African American uh, uh, a protest organization skyrocketed from 50,000 to 500,000. What an impact. Workers with rising incomes put their money into savings accounts. Since rationing limited the amount, their ability to purchase consumer goods like cars and clothes, these funds were then available to fuel the consumer boom that followed the war. Millions took advantage of the opportunities to buy new homes in the suburbs, shop for new cars and appliances, and join the affluent, affluent society of the 1950s. You can see uh, some of the new homes, the old Woody there, uh, the appliances, uh, some of the ladies' dresses. I wouldn't mind having that Corvette right now. So anyway, that's uh, the world, the war. Okay, that's good. I'm sorry. The war also set the stage for the dominant political and diplomatic reality of the post-war years, the Cold War, which wasn't always cold. Tensions among the Allies had existed from the beginning of World War II, and after the war, profound conflicts continued to separate the superpowers. Although Roosevelt was confident he could reconcile these tensions, he died before the war ended, and he never shared his ideas. His successor, Harry Truman, found himself in an increasingly hostile relationship with Stalin and the U, uh, USSR, Soviet Union. By 1947, uh, polarization be between the two superpowers had become to dominate all diplomatic relations. That's all over the world. President Truman depicted America as being as a holy war with Soviet Union. Truman portrayed America with God-fearing people believing in freedom on one side and atheistic communists who believed in tyranny on the other. President Truman felt that it could be no compromise. Anyone who suggested such a course was immoral. Pursuing a policy of containment, the United States pledged to fight communism incursions any place and any time they occurred. Tensions worsened through the 1940s and 50s as nations around the world aligned themselves on one side or the other. The United States in 1948 created a Marshall Plan to rebuild Europe and establish NATO, the North Atlantic uh, Treaty Alliance, in the same year. The Korean War was the first open military action of the Cold War. And in 1955, when NATO accepted the Federal Republic of Germany as a member, Russia formed the Warsaw Pact to prevent further invasions of Soviet territory and tightened control over Eastern Europe. But Cold War anti-communist was not limited to foreign policy. The other side of the Cold War story was, was domestic and anti-communism. From the hearings in the House Un-American Activities Committee in the immediate post-war years to the launch of McCarthyism in 1950, fear of domestic communism dominated the political discourses at home. It was the primary weapon in President Truman's re-election campaign of 1948. And if you do not know anything about the McCarthyism, uh, those were hearings that uh, Senator McCarthy had. Uh, a lot of um, uh, movie stars were put on the list and they couldn't get jobs and so forth out that. It was a tough time. Uh, Truman suggested anyone to the left of the Democratic Party mainstream was suspect. When Truman proposed national health care insurance to Congress in 1947, exacerbated as socialized medicine and effort to imitate the Soviet Union. Now, this next one is something that would really be nice if it was like this today. Democrats and Republicans like celebrated American democracy and capitalism. They both agreed there was no underlying problems within American society, and any problems that did exist could be solved by phased reform. Economic growth would serve as a primary means of securing social progress. 
The ink of this consensus was anti-communist, both as a foreign policy toward the Soviet Union as a political stance rejecting the kind of left of center politics that was being prevalent in the Labour Party in England and social democratic parties of France, Germany. White Eisenhower, Republican, a war hero, was elected president in 1952, but he never sought to undo the New Deal. Indeed, he created a cabinet level Department of Health, Education, and Welfare, and famously wrote his brother that anyone who contemplated ending Social Security must be out of his mind. When John F. Kennedy was elected president, he also focused primarily on the Cold War and stimulating economic growth. Kennedy, represented continuity not much different from President Eisenhower. The civil rights movement was able to gain momentum in the post-war years, creating the foundation for a decade of rap a rapidly expanding protests. When black veterans returned from World War II, they refused to accept second-class citizenship any longer. With their uniforms still on, they went to register to vote. When they were beaten, even murdered, for trying to exercise the franchise, they fought back. The war had kindled a new activism and a new faith among African Americans. What had previously been endured was vigorously resisted from the bottom up. One of the actors was Rosa Parks, secretary of her local NAACP. She was determined to challenge racism wherever it existed. When she was told to give up her seat on a public bus to a white person in December of 1955, she refused. Her arrest sparked phone conversations between the Women's Political Council and the Black Labor Unions. And the next night, the African-American community poured into Baptist Church where they heard a young and unknown minister, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He implored the community to stand up for justice. For 381 days, not a single black person in Montgomery, Montgomery, Alabama, rode a public bus until finally the Supreme Court ruled that segregation and public transportation was unconstitutional. July 9, 1945, U.S. Army troops land on Luzon in the Philippines. January 12, 1945, Soviet forces launched a massive offensive from bases on the Vistula and Nida uh, rivers in central Poland. The offensive clears Polish soil of German troops and brings Soviet forces to the Oder River in Germany, at one point less than 100 miles from Berlin. On January 17, advancing from the east, Soviet troops captured Warsaw. All this is 1945, as you can see on the screen. On January 17th, as Soviet troops approached, SS troops uh, began the final evacuation of prisoners from the Auschwitz uh, camp complex. And you can see some of the gas chambers there. Um, how they got uh, started to evacuate was they had uh, marching them on foot towards the interior of the uh, German Reich. These forced evacuations came to be called death marches. Thousands had been killed in the camps in the, in the days before uh, these death marches began. Thousands of prisoners, mostly Jews, were forced to march either northwest for approximately 30 miles to Gilowitz, joined by prisoners from subcamps. Now, I'm going to murder these names, but uh, you can look at them and figure out what they are yourself. Uh, Bismarck in that, Altmanok, and Hindenburg. Or west, approximately 30 miles to Lasalle. They were joined by inmates from the subcamps on, in, to the south of Aus Auschwitz as Chawiskowitz, uh, Chawiskowitz, and Galashaw. Okay. Still in, 19, in the same time, SS guards shot anyone who fell behind or could not continue. Now, these people were about starved to death to start with. Prisoners all suffered from the cold weather, starvation, exposure on these marches. At least 3,000 prisoners died en route to Gilowitz alone. Possibly as many as 15,000 prisoners died during evacuation marches from Auschwitz and subcamps. On January 25th, the uh, SS troops uh, began the final evacuation of uh, Sudhoff concentration camp. And the picture right there is showing 
Uh, Eisenhower standing there looking at the uh, buildings at the camp that had been burned down with the, with the prisoners in it. On January 26th, Japanese troops retreat to the coast of China. January 27th, Soviet troops liberate the Auschwitz and Birkenau concentration camps, discovered hundreds of corpses from people who were recently murdered. Thousands of people are barely alive, and the earthly remains of approximately one million men and women. In Western Europe, the Battle of the Bulge ends. Americans suffered some 75,000 casualties, and the Germans lost 80,000 to 100,000. The Americans can recover from their military losses. The Germans cannot. From now on, the German army is on retreat into Germany itself. Only a few people besides Hitler believe Germany can still win the war. January 30th, a, sub, a Soviet submarine sinks the Wilhelm Gustloff. It is the single deadliest sinking in maritime history, killing between 6,000 and 10,000 people, most of whom were civilian refugees and wounded German soldiers. On February 3rd, Walt Disney Productions seventh feature film, The Three Caballeros, is released. It is the first feature film to incorporate traditional animation with live acting uh, uh, actors. That was February 3rd, 1945. RCA, uh, RCA uh, demonstration, all electronic color television system. That was February 4th. Also on February 4th, the Yalta Conference between the U.S., Britain, and the USSR begins. If you see the picture there, we have uh, Churchill on the left, uh, Roosevelt, and then Stalin. Uh, they discuss their plans for Europe after the war, and Stalin agrees to declare war in Japan. It's kind of late in, in the game, but um, uh, I guess. In the Pacific, the Allies finally retake Manila in the Philippines after three years of brutal Japanese occupation. On February 13th, the 7th Motorized Infantry Brigade of the Soviet Army liberate Ros Rosen concentration camps. I don't know about y'all, but I did not realize how many there were. February 13th, Soviet troops accept the surrender of the last German-Hungarian units fighting in the encircle uh, Budapest, Hungary. Also on February 13th, the bombing raids on the German city of Dresden start. Many thousand civilian lives would be lost in the fire storm created by 1,300 Allied bombers. February 16th, the Battle of Iwo Jima starts as the U.S. Navy begins a three-day bombardment of the island. On the 19th, U.S. Marines land on Iwo Jima. February 23rd, U.S. Uh, Marines raised the U.S. flag on, on the summit of Mount Suribachi on Iwo Jima. Of over 20,000 Japanese defenders, only 1,000 were taken prisoners. There were two flag raisings that day on the mountain. If you look in the left-hand corner, uh, that is the original flag raising, but then someone had a much larger flag, so they uh, had it raised, and that was pictured. It was part of the now, it's part of the uh, uh, Marine Corps uh, monument that you see there. Uh, the picture was taken by Joe Rosenthal just by accident, and he won a Pulitzer Prize with it, but it's now become a, a memorial. Uh, March 3rd, Royal Air Force bombings of bombing of accidentally bombed mm, Rosenhaut neighborhood in the Hague, Nether Netherlands, killing 511 people. March 4th, Finland declares war on Nazi Germany. March 6th, Cologne is captured by American troops. As you notice, we're fighting a war on two different fronts. We're fighting the Germans, we're fighting the, uh, the Japanese. March 7th, American troops seized the Lunendorf Lund Bridge over the Rhine River at Remagen. March 10th, the United States Army, Air Force, firebombs Tokyo, one of the most destructive bombing raids in history, killing more than 100,000 people, mostly civilians. And you can see what Tokyo looked like. Uh, after the firebombing. The Imperial Japanese Navy attempts a large-scale kamikaze attack on the United States Pacific Fleet 
for U.S. Pacific Fleet anchored at Yuletal Atoll in Operation Tan Number Two. On March 7th, British and American troops uh, crossed the Rhine River in Remagen. Uh, Germany leaving no more uh, natural barriers into the uh, center, uh, central Germany. In other words, that bridge and the river there was the last uh, uh, natural barrier. There was nothing to stop them uh, from going across then. Uh, on March 9th, the bombing of Tokyo by the United States Air Force began one of the most destructive bombing raids in history. Uh, the United States Army Air Force firebombs Tokyo, that we just talked about with more, more than 100,000, uh, most of the civilians, which was 9th and 10th. On March 11th, the Imperial uh, Japanese Navy attempts a large-scale kamikaze attack on the United States Pacific Fleet, anchored at uh, Ulitha Atoll in Operation 10 Number 2, and you can see the Japanese uh, young girls there waving their flowers at their heroes as they take off from their airplanes. They're heroes unless they come back. If they come back, they ain't heroes. Uh, March 11th, the Empire of Vietnam, a short-lived Japanese puppet state is established by Bao Dai as its ruler. Now, from the last time we show, we talked about that the uh, Japanese had taken over Vietnam but they allowed the French to, uh, to run the government, but they kicked the French out of being in government and they took uh, uh, the old emperor of, uh, which is not old, but he was the emperor of Vietnam at one time and Bao Da, and they made him the new ruler by, um, well, he, he, by name only. They, the, the Japanese still ruled the uh, ruled country. The Battle of Iwo Jima ended. But small pockets of Japanese resistance persisted. U.S. troops completed the capture of Iwo Jima at the cost of 20,000 American lives. We talked about before that they were only 1,000 prisoners because they would not give up. Uh, it was the closest to the homeland, so they were going to fight them to death and, uh, or kill themselves. March 16th, 90% of Würzburg, Germany is destroyed in only 20 minutes by British bombers, killing 5,000. The Ludendorff Bridge in, Rom in Remagen, in Germany, collapses 10 days after its capture. Remember I said there was nothing to stop us from going right on across, except the bridge fell. March 18, 1,250 American bombers attacked Berlin. On March 19, off the coast of Japan, a dive bomber hits the aircraft carrier USS Franklin, killing 724 of her crew. Badly damaged, the ship is able to return to the U.S. under her own power. But in March 19th, Adolf, Adolf Hitler issued the Nero Decree, ordering all in industries, military installations, shops, transportation facilities, and communication facilities in Nazi Germany to be destroyed. You kind of get the idea he thought that uh, they were probably going to lose the war, and he didn't make, want to make sure that the Allies didn't have anything uh, there to uh, uh, use. March 21st, 1945, British troops liberate Mandalay, which now is known as uh, Myanmar, which is things going on right now if you're watching what's going on, but it used to be named Burma. March 24th, the cartoon character, Sylvester the Cat, uh, that is with life and feathers. That's uh, looks like the old original of Tom and Jerry. I do remember a little bit about Sylvester and the Cat. On March 29th, the last bombing of the war falls on Britain. Last time that Britain is, is bombed. American troops take Okinawa, the last island held by the Japanese defenders, inflicting about 35,000 American casualties. In Europe, the Allies surround over 300,000 German troops and the final Allied defense in Northern Italy begins. The 4th Armored Division and an 89th Infantry of the U.S. 3rd Army liberate Ordov. After visiting Ordov, General Eisenhower orders careful documentation of the atrocities so no one uh, in the world could, could deny they had committed the, that, that those atrocities were committed. On April 11th, U.S. troops reached the Buchenwald concentration camp and discovered that the prisoners had liberated themselves from a forced evacuation. 
A few days later, British troops liberate the Bergen Belsen concentration camp for women. On April 11th, as you can see, every day is filled. April 11th, troops of the 3rd Armored Division and 104th Infantry Division liberate the Dora Mittenbaum uh, concentration camp in Germany. They found few living prisoners left in the camp. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt dies of a cerebral hemorrhage at age 63. Harry S. Truman becomes president of the United States. April 12th, Canadian forces liberate about 880 prisoners of the West Bork camp in the Netherlands. The 63rd Anti-Tank Regiment and the 11th Armored Division of the British Army liberate about 60,000 prisoners at the bergen Belsen concentration camp. All resistance in the Ruhr ends in 370,000 German prisoners of war taken. God, what in the world do you do with those many people? Rogers and Hammerstein, April 19th. Rogers and Hammerstein's Carousel, a musical opens on Broadway and becomes the second long, second long, becomes their second long running uh, stage classic. Life is still going on. As British troops advance, the Gestapo hangs 20 Jewish children who've been exploited for medical experiments in, uh, in the Bunheim uh, Dam School in Hamburg, Germany. April 20th, 22nd, the SS evacu uh, evacuates prisoners from the Sachsenhaus concentration camp by forced marches on April 22nd. Units of the 1st and 47th Polish armies liberate about 3,000 inmates remaining in the camp. And you can see there some of the mass graves. They were killing them, uh, uh, the ones who were not able to uh, do in the march until the uh, Polish army got there. Soviet troops encircled Berlin. One day earlier, Adolf Hitler had announced to his top leaders that he would remain in Berlin. At Mauthausen, SS troops killed 1,441 sick inmates in a gas chamber. The 9th U.S. Infantry Division liberates the Wolfsburg concentration camp in Germany. On April 28, Benito Mussolini is captured by Italian forces, anti-fascists, uh, and executed. April 28th, SS troops murder 33 members of the Upper Austrian, Austrian Socialist and Communist Party organization in the gas chambers at Mauthausen uh, concentration camp the last gassing operation in the Third Reich. On April 29th, U.S. troops liberate the Dutch Hall concentration camp where they discover evidence of gruesome medical experiments. On 30th of April, with troops, with Soviet troops less than 500 meters from his uh, Fuhrer bunker, Adolf Hitler commits suicide. Hitler gives a Nazi salute and announces, it is finished, goodbye, takes a cyanide capsule and shoots himself. Lying beside his side is his wife of one day, Eva Braun, and who also took uh, cyanide capsules, and how they tested him was they gave it to Hitler's dog. Nazi propaganda minister Joseph uh, Goebbels is scheduled to become the new German chancellor, but he kills himself after having his wife and six children killed. Crazy people. Karl Donitz is named as Hitler's successor. Soviet troops complete the capture of Berlin. The remaining German troops, German troops in Italy surrender. Now, this is part that you probably all of you didn't know about. Uh, a Japanese Fugo balloon bomb kills five children and a grown woman, Elise Mitchell, near Bly, Oregon, when it explodes as they drag it from the woods. They are the only people killed by an enemy attack on the American mainland during World War II. What the Japanese were doing were taking uh, hot air balloons, excuse me, helium balloons with explosives on them and, and, and setting them up in the air and they were floating across uh, the ocean to the United States. There were others uh, discovered, but this is the only one that actually went off. Uh, Elise Mitchell's husband later w went to Vietnam as a um, uh, evangelist and disappeared. The new German president, Admiral 
uh, called Donitz authorized an unconditional surrender of the armed forces of Nazi Germany on May 7th. May 8th, VE Day is declared victory in Europe. And you can see uh, the sailor getting his kiss and the uh, army guy looks like he's working up to one. Uh, everybody was so excited on the streets. Uh, those uh, Nazis had surrendered. Uh, May 9th, Soviet forces enter and liberate the camp ghetto at Fisenstadt. May 9th, Soviet forces liberate Studenhof concentration camp near uh, Danzig. On June 22nd, U.S. forces overcome the last major pocket of Japanese resistance on Okinawa Island and in one of the bloodiest battles of World War II. Lieutenant General Mitsu Ushiroma, the Japanese commander of Okinawa's defense, commits suicide rather than surrender. June 26th, the United Nations Charter is signed in San Francisco. July 16th, the Manhattan Project. The atomic age begins when the United States successfully detonates a plutonium-based test nuclear weapon near Almogordo, New Mexico. The parts of the bomb were to be dropped on Japanese are already on their way. In Germany, the Potsdam Conference between the U.S., Britain, and USSR begins. Disagreements over the future of Europe plant more seeds for the, oncoming, for the coming Cold War. On July 16th, the cruiser Indianapolis steamed out of San Francisco Bay just after dawn wrapped in a heavy cloak of sequence. She carried an atomic bomb that three weeks later would be dropped on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. That is the Indianapolis. On July 28th, a U.S. Army B-25 bomber crashes into the 79th floor of the Empire State Building, killing 14 and injuring 26. On July 30th, Japanese submarine 158 sinks the USS Indianapolis. And a few minutes past midnight on July 30th, two Japanese torpedoes tore into her side, igniting an explosive that broke the ship in two. It only took 20, 12 minutes for the ship to dip her bow, roll to starboard, and slip beneath the sea. Of her crew of 1,196, an estimated 900 survived the explosion. But the worst was yet to come. Remember, they came, they left San Francisco Bay in a cloak of secrecy. Nobody, just a few people, knew that they were out there, where they were going, and what they were doing. So most, most, uh, most observers had no idea the ship was even out there. More, more, more of the uh, survivors wore uh, life jackets and provided uh, minimal, provided minimal uh, fluency, fluency. Just as many, however, had neither raft nor life jacket and were forced to continue to tread water to survive. Final relief only when a life jacket became available through the death of a shipmate. The sharks began attacking when the sun rose and continued their assault throughout the ordeal. If you saw the movie uh, um, Jaws, the, uh, the ship captain talked about he was on the Indianapolis and how the sharks came in. The sharks began attacking when the sun rose and continued their assault throughout the ordeal. No alarm was raised when the ship failed to arrive at its destination. No rescue forces were dispatched to find the missing ship. Its sinking went unnoticed. For four days, a dwindling number of survivors fought a losing battle of life and death. Then Lady Luck intervened. A Navy reconnaissance plane on routine patrols happened to spot the survivors and broadcast their position. Nearby ships rushed to the scene and began to pluck the sailors out of the water. A tally made at the completion of the rescue revealed that only 317 of the original estimated 900 to escape the sinking ship survived the ordeal. On August 45th, that's what they had delivered the bomb and then it's gonna be dropped. August 6th, a US B-29 named Enola Gay drops the little boy atomic bomb on Hiroshima in Japan. Approximately 140,000 people die in the area uh, will die by the end of the year. That's a picture of Hiroshima. August 8th, 
U.S. declares war on Japan. Uh, the USSR declares war on Japan. A little slow. Soviet troops invade Japanese-held Manchuria. On August 9th, a U.S. B-29 named Boxcar drops the Fat Man atomic bomb on Nagasaki, Japan. Approximately 70,000 people in the area would die by the end of the year. August 14th, Japanese Japan agrees to unconditional surrender. On March 14th, the Ho, the Ho Chi Minh's Viet Minh launches the August Re, uh, Revolution in mid political confusion and power vacuum engulfing Vietnam. When the Japanese pulled out of Vietnam, uh, they were supposed to uh, surrender to the uh, Chinese and supposed to surrender to the British, but the Japanese uh, surrendered uh, to Ho Chi Minh in the northern part of Vietnam. August 14th and 15th, VJ Day is a day on which Imperial Japan surrendered, in, in effect, bringing the war to an end. The term has also been used for both of the days on which the international initial announcement of Japan's surrender was made. August 15th, 1945 in Japan, and because of the time zone differences, August 14th in the United States and the rest of America. Also September 2nd, when the surrender of documents was signed officially in the World War II. August 19th, Viet Minh, led by Ho Chi Minh, take power in Hanoi, Vietnam. August 25th, 10 days after World War ends with, uh, Japan, with, Japan, uh, with Japan victory over Japan. That doesn't make any sense. Should have proof wrong writing better. Uh, 10 days after World War II ends with uh, victory over Japan, uh, over Japan Day, announcing surrender. Uh, armed with supporters of the Communist Party of China, uh, Chinese Communist Party, killed the United States U.S. intelligence officer and missionary John Birch. In other words, the Chinese Communists uh, killed American uh, missionary uh, John Birch. August 30th in Hong Kong is liberated by the, by, from Japan by the British Armed Forces. August 30th, Allied Control Council governing Germany after the war comes into a being. August 30th in Vietnam, the August Revolution ends as Emperor Bao Dao abdicates in the Nguyen Dynasty. And that you can see is the uh, good uh, guy, Bao Dao. On September 2nd, Japan signs a formal surrender of bringing on board the U.S. Uh, on board the USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay. In World War II ends. The most devastating war in human history is over. As you can see down there is the famous kiss of the sa a sailor grabbed the woman. Uh, and for years, nobody knew who they were. Uh, it found out several years ago, it was actually a guy who uh, uh, lived in North Carolina. He died about a year or so ago. Uh, he was able to prove that he was the one. Now, 1945 and September the 2nd, Vietnam declares its independence forming the North Vietnam Democratic Republic of Vietnam. September 5th, Cold War. Igor Kuzenko, a Soviet embassy clerk, defects to, can to Canada, exposing Soviet espionage in North America, the, beginning, the real beginning of the Cold War. On September 7th, Japanese forces on Wake Island, which they had, had, which they had held since December of 1941, surrenders to the United States Marine Corps. September 8th, the United States troops derive arrived to petition the southern part of Korea in response to Soviet troops occupying the northern part of the peninsula a month earlier. The move was prompted, by, uh, prompted as part of the Cold War. September 9th, the first actual case of computer bug being found is a moth locked in a relay of a Harvard Mark II computer at the Naval Weapons Center in Dahlgren, Virginia. Okay. That was the first virus, I guess, with the mall. On September 11th, Australian 9th Division forces liberated the Japanese run Batu Lintage Camp, a POW and civilian internment camp on the islands of Borneo. September 15th, a hurricane in southern Florida and the Bahamas destroys 366 airplanes and 25 blimps at NAS Richmond. Billy Salance, a local bar owner, this is October 6th, for you baseball uh, fans, 
and his pet, Billy Goat, were ejected from Chicago's Wrigley Field during Game 4 of the 1945 World Series. Allegedly, cursing the Chicago Cubs for at least the next 60 years. On October 12th, Desmond Doss is the first conscientious objector to receive the U.S. Medal of Honor. I highly recommend that you uh, see his movie. Uh, October 18th, Argentine military officer and, and politician Juan Perón uh, marries actress Eva Perón. October 24th, founder of the United Nations. October 29th, at Gimbel's department store in New York City, their first ballpoint pen goes on sale for $12.50 each. October 30th, Jackie Robinson of the Kansas City Monarchs signs a contract with the Brooklyn Dodgers, breaking the color barrier. And that's Jackie Robinson. November 20th, the International Military Tribunal, made up of US, British, French, and Soviet judges, begins a trial of 22 major Nazi leaders at Nuremberg, Germany. And you can see there the, those guys that uh, are on trial. December 4th, by a vote of 65 to 7, the United States Senate approves United States uh, participation in the United Nations. On December 22nd, President Truman issues a directive giving preference to displaced persons for immigration visas upon existing immigration quota uh, restrictions. Best motion picture of 1945 was Going My Way. Nominated for the Academy Award was Double Indemnity, Gaslight, Since You Went Away, and Wilson. The top so Billboard song was the Andrews Sisters' Rum and Coca-Cola. Number two was Les Brown's Sentimental Journey. Number three was Perry Como, Till the End of Time. Number four was Les Brown's My Dreams Are Getting Better All the Time. TV shows was Dr. Uh, Dr. Death, on stage, everybody, serving through science, tell the truth, and television quarterback. Now, during the war, a lot of the TV stations were shut down uh, because the government had taken over most of them. So still very strong back then was the Bob Hope, uh, was the 1944-45 uh, uh, radio ratings. Bob Hope's radio show was, uh, was number one. Fibberge and Molly, uh, Bing Crosby, Walter Winchell. Uh, Mr. Dick's Attorney, Lux Radio Theater, Jack Benny, Bergen and, and uh, Charlie Bergen and McCarthy, um, Candace Bergen's father, who was, and Charlie McCarthy was the uh, Van Foolish Nomi, uh, Joan Davis, Screen Gill, Eddie Cantor, Everett and Costello, and down at number 14 was Kay Kaiser's College. Uh, he was from, he went to UNC, North, uh, University of North Carolina, and, uh, and, and, and back, was, lived there when he died. Okay, 1945, one of the most significant uh, uh, years in the modern history of Vietnam. 1,000 years of dynastic politics and monarchies. Ideology came to an end. Eight decades of French rule lay shattered. Five years of military occupation ceased. Allied leaders determined that Chinese troops in the northern of Indochina and British troops in the South would receive the Japanese surrender. Ho Chi Minh proclaimed the Democratic Republic of Vietnam with himself as president. The Japanese military entered, entered Vietnam in September 1940 and remained there until the end of war to in 1945. French colonial administrators remained in charge for most of this period until the Japanese assumed control in 1945. The Japanese occupation of Vietnam held strength uh, helped strengthen the Viet Minh and contribute to the outbreak of the first Indochina War in 1946. Japan's occupation of Vietnam fit into a long-term uh, imperial plans. Japanese leaders, leaders driven by materialism and for profit, wanted to create an economic coalition of Asian nations. Together, these Asian countries would expel Western imperialists and capitalists and then divide Asia's resources and commodities between themselves. One of the, one of the main things was the rubber. Tokyo began putting pressure on French colonial and administrators in Vietnam, demanding that Japanese soldiers be allowed into the country to secure the Chinese border. This is when they first came into uh, Vietnam. 
refused until 1940 when Nazi Germany invaded France. Within a month, the French government had surrendered and signed an armistice with, Ber with Berlin when they were in France. The surrender of France at home greatly weakened their uh, colonial government in Vietnam, leaving them with little option but to concede Japan. An agreement allowing Japanese troops to uh, occupy the northern border between Vietnam and China. The French governor general signed an agreement with Tokyo, giving the, Japan, uh, the uh, Japanese access to Haiphong Harbor, allowing the placement of up to 6,000 troops in northern Vietnam. Japan, uh, the Japanese, dissatisfied with this agreement, broke it the following day. By midnight on September 22nd, the Japanese uh, invasion of Vietnam was underway, taking just a week to secure the control of Vietnam. By October, there were around 10,000 Japanese soldiers stationed there, mostly in the areas around the ports, art, airfields, and industrial centers. During most of the occupation, the Jap Japanese left the French colonial government in place at the time. Uh, Japan did not have the resources for a full-scale occupation of Vietnam. They preferred to leave the French in place. This allowed Tokyo to control Vietnam without deploying large numbers of soldiers. At no point did Japanese troops in Vietnam exceed 35,000. The Japanese presence in Vietnam also attracted foreign attention, particularly from the United States. In 1940, America was not yet at war with Japan but it was still re were working to restrict Japanese expansion through Asia. The U.S. also wanted to protect its import of raw rubber, rubber, half of which came from Vietnam. At first, Washington backed the French colonial regime in Vietnam, hoping it would resist Japanese overtures. When the French caved into Japanese demand, the United States changed its attitude. Since Pearl Harbor and the United States entered the war in December of 1941, changed the things even further. In 1943, by 1943, President Roosevelt was floating the idea of Vietnam independence. You see the Japanese coming in. The war in the Asia Pacific uh, picked Washington's interest in Indochina. The United States opened a military station in Kuning in southern China. American advisor and Office of Strategic Services, OSS agents, supported both the Chinese and Vietnamese resistance groups. The Americans also worked closely with Ho Chi Minh and the Viet Minh who supplied the United States with information about Japanese troop movements and also re helped re recovery of down uh, American pilots. This was more than just a matter of convenience for, uh, uh, as an alliance, but it gave Ho Chi Minh hope that Washington might support Vietnamese independence once the war had ended. Also, American uh, politicians uh, kind of alluded to the fact that uh, maybe uh, Vietnam would be for the Vietnamese when it was all over. By early 1945, and the war in the Pacific had turned in favor of the Allies, and the Japanese became increasingly suspicious of French activities. As a result, on March 10, 1945, Japanese forces launched a swift military coup to take over that effectively ended French colonial rule in Vietnam. The OSS sent into Vietnam the Deer Team commanded by Major Allison Thomas, uh, the guy in the middle uh, between Ho Chi Minh and General Jip, uh, is, was Major Allison Thomas. Uh, they parachuted in the, uh, into the Vietnam base area to give them training for operation against the Japanese. When the team arrived in late July, they were greeted by a large uh, banner proclaiming, welcome to our American friends. Their dear team trained the Viet Minh for two months in the proper use of bazookas, carbines, and grenades, and all weapons they had no knowledge of how to use, including Ho Chi Minh and a man by the name of Mr. Van. Uh, you can see him with the hat on there and the tie. Uh, Mr. Van uh, was, was the way the deer team knew him, but it was actually uh, Malone later as General Jip who controlled the uh, armed forces for uh, Viet Minh. With the drop of the atomic bomb, that's the reason only I uh, taught him for two months, with the dropping of the atomic bomb on Japan in August 1945, World War II ended. Upon receiving the news, the Americans of the Deer Team and the Viet Minh laughed and drank long into the night. Americans then uh, accompanied the Viet Minh, now carrying new American weapons to the capital Hanoi, and all along their journey, the Vietnamese American forces were welcomed by cheering villages, waving flags, and offering food. 
before the first American arrived in Hanoi on August 22nd to help prepare for the former Japanese surrender, the Viet Minh were firmly in control of Hanoi. The American mission in Hanoi was, t- uh, uh, was greeted with the same warmth and respect that had been accorded to them earlier. They were conquering heroes. The American team witnessed the first parade of the Viet Minh troops in the first international ceremony where the Vietnamese flag was displayed alongside those of the Allies and a new Vietnamese national anthem was played after the Star Spangled Banner. On September 2nd, the American team watched as Ho Chi Minh read Vietnam's Declaration of Independence before cheering crowds. What appeared as U.S. recognition of Ho Chi Minh and the Vietnamese independence further inflamed French opinion as, as most had expected Americans to refuse to uh, cooperate with this startup government. They had French uh, restore control over, uh, over Vietnam. Uh, Ho Chi Minh, is, uh, his um, Declaration of Independence was very similar to the American uh, Declaration of Independence. And the Southern Province of the head, uh, the head of the OSS mission to Saigon, Lieutenant, this is um, in, in, in South Vietnam, Lieutenant Colonel Peter Dewey, also angered the French. Although the Viet Minh in the South did not enjoy the same level of control as in the North, they were every bit as concerned with making a positive impression on the Americans. The friendly relationships established with the Vietnamese by both American representatives resulted in both being recalled from duty in Vietnam in response to French and British complaints about their behavior. For the Vietnamese who interacted with Americans during this time, however, these young men represented the hope that their own national aspirations might be fulfilled. The Vietnamese optimism with the end of World War II for both a free and independent nation, good relations with the United States had eroded. The United States government wanted to not get involved with the troublesome colonial situation of the French and folks with American attention on the approaching Cold War. In its last transmission to OSS headquarters in autumn 1945, Colonel Peter Dewey reflected this sentiment. Cochin, China is burning. The French and the British are finished here. And we are to clear out of Southeast Asia ourselves. Riding in a French Jeep to the airport to come home, Dewey stopped and stopped and thinking he was a French officer was killed by Viet Minh guards. And in fact, Dewey became the first American killed in Vietnam. You won't find him on the wall. After World War II in 1945 and the collapse of Vietnam's uh, monarchy, France attempted to reestablish its colonial rule, but was ultimately defeated in its first Indochina War. 1946, January 10th, the first United Nations General Assembly or General Assembly of the United Nations opens in London. 51 nations are represented. Also on January 10th, the United States Army Signal Corps successfully conducts Project Diana, bouncing radio waves off the moon and receiving the reflected signal. On January 19th, General Douglas MacArthur established the Inter- International Military Tribunal for the Far East in Tokyo to uh, try Japanese war criminals. So uh, we had the Nuremberg trials, then we have the Japanese. January 22nd, creation of the Central Intelligence Group, CIA. Uh, full run to the Central Intelligence Agency. Agency. Boy, tongue's not working. January 24th, the United Nations General Assembly passes its first resolution to establish the United Nations Atomic Energy Commission. Everybody's worried about the bomb. February 8th, the first portion of the Revised Standard Version of the Bible was first serious challenge to the popularity of the authorized King James Version is published. The Revised Standard Version. February 12th, Operation Deadlight ends after sculling 121 or 154 captured U boats. February 14th, the Bank of England is nationalized. In 1946, February 15th, ENAC is the first electronic general purpose computer, is formally dedicated at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. And as you can see there, it's definitely not a laptop. March 2nd, Ho Chi Minh is elected president of North Vietnam. March 5th, Winston Churchill forms the phrase, Iron Curtain, in his speech at Westminster College in Missouri. On March 6th, 
Ho Chi Minh signs agreement with France, which recognizes Vietnam as an autonomous state in the Indochina Federal, in Indochinese Federal Federation and the French Union. Some historians list this date as 1940, um, 1949. Mine said 46. Uh, Rudolf Haas, the first commandant of Auschwitz concentration camp, is captured by British troops. March 18th, diplomatic relations between Switzerland and the Soviet Union are established. On March 21st, the Los Angeles Rams signed Kenny. Washington, making him the first American African American player in American football since 1933. The United States Department uh, releases the uh, let me see if I get this okay releases the Ak Ak Atkinson Lithenol report outlining plans for the international. Sorry, I haven't made a chance must not move my mouse there. Uh, plan on international uh, congress, okay. On April 3rd, Japanese Lieutenant General Mashra Homa is executed in the Philippines for leading the Bataan Death March. You can see him there. International Court of Justice holds its inaugural meeting in The Hague in the Netherlands. April 20th, the League of Nations officially dissolves giving most of its powers to the United Nations. April 23rd, 1946, Manuel Roex is elected the last president of the Commonwealth of the Philippines. April, 19, uh, April 29th, 1946, International Military Tribunals for the Far East convenes and indicts former Prime Minister of Japan, Tojo, uh, Hideak uh, Tojo, and 28 former Japanese leaders for war crimes. The Battle of Alcatraz uh, takes place. Alcatraz, Alcatraz prison uh, here in the United States, two guards and three inmates are killed. Uh, in San Francisco Bay, the United States Marine Corps from nearby Treasure Island Naval Base uh, stop a two-day ride at Alcatraz. They send the Marines in. Altogether, there were five people killed. 1946 of May, the International Military Tribunal in, for the Far East begins with 28 Japanese military and government officials on war crimes and crimes against humanity. Tokyo Communications Engineers, later named Sony, is founded with around 20 employees. That's pretty good, that close after the war. First successful launch of an American B-2 rocket at White Sands Proving Ground. June 2nd, Italian constitutional referendum known as the birth of the Italian Republic. Italy, uh, Italy vote to turn Italy from a monarchy into a republic. At the referendum of King Umberto of Italy is exiled. A fire in the LaSalle Hotel in Chicago kills 61 people. The National, June 6, 1946, the National Basketball Association is created with 11 teams. In the Canadian uh, Citizenship Act, the Parliament of Canada established the definition of Canadian citizenship. After 381 years of near continuous colonial rule by various powers, the Philippines attains full independence from the United States. And important to all you guys out there, July 5th, 1946, the bikini goes on sale after beauty uh, during an outdoor fashion show in the Mola Pool in Paris, France. Except it did not take off well in the United States. It was years later when the uh, actresses started wearing it and so forth, but it was in um, in France for a long time before that. Mother Francisco S. Cabrini becomes the first American to be canonized. July 7, 1946, Howard Hughes nearly dies when his Hughes X 11 rec uh, reconnaissance aircraft prototype crashes in. Uh, Beverly Hills neighborhood, and that's the plane. As you, that's a picture of Howard Hughes in his strongest part, and he became a germaphobic. And that's uh, Howard Hughes in the other picture, uh, just before he died. He was uh, just totally lost his mind. Uh, long hair, wearing uh, looks like Kleenex boxes for his shoes and diaper. Uh, July 25th, Operation Crossroads. 
a nuclear weapon is detonated underwater in a lagoon of in the lagoon of Bikini Atoll. July 25th at Club 500 in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis stage their first show as the comedy team. Now, I'm going to stop it right here on uh, July uh, 25th, 1946. Uh, July uh, 1945, as you saw, was a long, uh, a long uh, year with lots going on. The rest of them have a whole lot less than that. Um, coming up for our next show is... March 10th, uh, that will be continuing th uh, this show. We're going to get more years in after this. So March 10th, we'll be back here at the same time, same place uh, with Nissan Communications. Also going on is March 6th is the monthly POW MI ceremony that will be held at the North Carolina State Capitol uh, Vietnam Memorial. If you haven't been, if you haven't been in a long time, I highly recommend you come out. We've been doing that for right at 33 years now. The first Saturday of each month at 12 o'clock noon, we get together and call out the names to remember the names of the 39 from Vietnam, from North Carolina who's still missing in Vietnam as a result of the war. Uh, we started out with 65 names. Hopefully, for too long, longer, we will get uh, uh, all of them accounted for so the families have. Uh, closure. I did find out yesterday that one of the men who's listed as, as there, that they have found his uh, watch. He was a young man from Rocky Mount. I actually played football against uh, against him in high school. Uh, they have found this watch, so they think they may know where he was. So hopefully for too much longer, he'll be accounted for. Uh, Daryl Johnson out of Rocky Mount. So again, uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Tell all your friends about our show. And we look forward to seeing you on March 10th. Be careful out there and get your shots if you're getting them. Uh, wear your mask. Well, whether you think they work or not, just wear them. Get away. That's the reason you like to get insurance. And y'all have a wonderful night and see you on the 10th. You are tuned to the Nissan Communications Network. If you tuned in too late, you can always watch each program in its entirety or download an MP3 audio file of it in the archives section at nissancommunications.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. Sponsored by Telestream's Wirecast Software, StreamingGear.com, Carolina Apparel, and DeltaForce.net.